Sports Car Company's production of Little Shop of Horrors. Thank you so much for being here. We are so excited to have the show in front of an audience. You may have uh, noticed we missed a couple of shows last weekend and we're trying to catch up. So we're extremely excited to join the audience. Um, Little Shop is the first show of the 2024 season here at the Mansion Park Center. And we have a lot of other things coming up. Uh, next up on this stage in February, our Teen Actors Guilds will be performing Baskerville, a Sherlock Holmes mystery, which will be fantastic. Our next one's up. After that, in May, we will have our We Actors Guild and our home uh, school uh, educational program doing The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That will also be a fantastic production. The next main stage production, if uh, any of you in the audience are interested in being a part of one of our shows, the next thing that will be uh, open for auditions is a July performance of The Music Man. That will be on stage here in July. Uh, audition notices for that one will be going up very soon and will be available on our website. So if you would like to join us, um, take a look at our website and follow along. Come down, audition for us. It would be great to see you. Uh, this theater has three exits. There's one there and one there. <coughs> the one you shouldn't go out. And the uh, one in the upper left-hand side uh, behind you. If at any point during the show you have to leave the audience, please go out the one up at the top of the steps. Uh, going out this one is just distracting to other audience members. It's distracting the cast. Um, so if you could, make sure you use the upper exit. Uh, during the run of the show, yes, please no videos and no flash photography. Obviously, the flashes are very distracting to anyone on the stage. If you'd like to shoot a couple of little clandestine photos of your favorite person, I won't notice. But uh, please don't use flash and uh, don't take any videos. Uh, other than that, everybody ready for a little shot? Please. 
Well, there it is. Six o'clock, and we haven't sold so much as a fur. I guess that's it. Don't bother coming in tomorrow. You don't mean it. You can't mean it. What? What I don't mean. I mean, I'm closed. Forget it. Kaput. Oh, but you can't. Ah, uh, kaput. Extinct. I'm closing this god and customer forsaken shop for good. Uh, Mr. Rusick, excuse me for saying so, but maybe has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the firm needs is to move in a different direction? What Seymour's was trying to say, Mr. Rusick, is, well, we talked about it and we both agree. <laughs> Seymour, why don't you run in the back and bring out that strange and interesting new plant you've been working on? You see, Mr. Rusick, some of those strange and exotic plants that Seymour's been tinkering around with are really unusual and well, we were thinking that maybe some of his strange and interesting plants, prominently displayed and advertised, would attract business. I'm afraid it isn't feeling very well today. Yeah. Now, isn't that bizarre? At least. Well, what kind of weirdo plant is that, Seymour? I don't know. Uh, it might, I think it might be some sort of fly trap, but I couldn't identify it in any of my books. Uh, so I gave it my own name. I caught it in Audrey, too. <laughs> For me? I hope you don't mind. <laughs> you see, sir, if you take a strange and unusual plant like this and you display it prominently in the window, then maybe, maybe... What? Do you realize how ridiculous you sound? Just because you put a strange and interesting plant in the window... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice that strange and interesting plant! <laughs> Poor 
burger. Are we still going to dinner? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Crowborn. You're staying right here working and nursing that black back to hell. Why is it paying all the time? I told you it's been giving me trouble. It just wilts like this. The Audrey too is not a healthy girl. Strictly between us, neither is the Audrey one. Before <laughs> I know what breed it was, what genus? But it's not in any of my books. Uh, well, my advice to you, Grillbone, is to figure it out and fact. I mean, a little bit that exotic little beauty did for, for business. Uh, I know. Uh, so, uh, get to work, Seymour. Uh, make that sick black well, and, uh, it's not counting on you. I know, I know. Oh, well, good. You know, good. I do. Oh, then good. Then fix. Good night. Aw, oh, Tui. I don't know what else to do for you. You're just wish you can offer. They just met you, but I've been going through this with you for weeks. Grow and wilt. Spurt and flop. Are you sick of the little plant? Or are you just stubborn? What is it you want? What do you need? I've given you sunshine.
Lee Blue Dog interview with Steve Ball Trail on the Young Botanical. You mind if I call you a genius? Gosh, no, a genius. It was a new breed of plant life. Hell, two unknown on this planet. Now, I'll dread you. But just one last question, Mr. Crab Bomb. Do you feed it anything special? Special? Uh, no. It's a secret formula, but it's uh, not hard to come by. That's it. Well, thanks for dropping by. Uh, I'd like to remind our listeners uh, that the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively at the Thank you. 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 An advertisement right in the front window. Stop in and see the amazing new plant, Audrey 2. And the really remarkable things that people, they do. See more that twerp of a clutch. Finally did something right, Audrey 2 drives them nuts. What a blessing this wonderful plant is again. Thanks for breaking the fuck for me, hand over fist.
the jump, get another guy, and let him protect you. We got one all picked out for you. A little botanical genius. And she ain't talking about George Washington Carver. <laughs> Seymour? Bingo. Oh, uh, we're just friends. I could never be Seymour's girl. I got a past. And who among us has not? I don't even deserve a sweet, considerate, suddenly successful guy like Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This child suffers from a low self-image. You have a point. She got a problem. I know Seymour's the greatest. But I need him to
Cleaned up and brooding, as customers are flocking, and business has been booming. We need refrigeration in our new improved display, so we're close for innovation today. Yes, this is the shop you heard about on Channel 5 News. Yes, the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively here. Chance talking about a girl with a black eye and several other medical problems? 
thing's a big green gold mine, kid. Take it and yourself and get the hell out of here. What? Mushnick skin row florist. <laughs> it's like some kind of a bad joke. Are you listening? I hear you. He hears you. Well, shouldn't we be leaving now? <laughs> Sorry. What? I'm sorry, Doctor. Doctor! Ah! Got a train, eh, stud? My bike's outside double parked, but you think about what I said. I mean it. Think about it. Sir, sir, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that, scout. Audrey. You have handcuffs? Great. 
sudden changes surround me. Lady Luck came and found me. Thanks a million for making the magic you do. Thanks to you, sweet Petunia. Mush next taken a junior. Someday when I own this whole shop, I'll remember I owe it to you. Oh, Atui, who cares if I've been a little on the anemic side these past few weeks? <laughs> so what if I've had a few dizzy spells, a little lightheadedness? It's been worth it, old pal. Well, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna run down to Schmendrick's and get a bite to eat. I'll see you later. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, look, I haven't got much left. Now just give me a few more days to heal, and then we'll start again on the left hand and feed me. I beg your pardon? Feed me. Tui! You, you talked! You opened up your, your trap, you thing, and you said to feed me, Threlborn. Feed me now. I can't. I'm starving. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, uh, maybe I can squeeze a little out of this one. I need some food. I know, but you can't get blood from a... Pick up a nice chop suey. <coughs> Must be blood. Oh, to me, that's disgusting. Must be fresh. Oh, wanna hear this? Feed me. Does it have to be human? Feed me. Does it have to be mine? Feed me. Where am I supposed to get it? Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. That's right, boy. <laughs> you can do it. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. <laughs>
written that it's true in uh, No. I don't know anyone who deserves to be uh, chopped up and fed to a hungry plant. Mmm, sure you do. Enjoy this. 
and I find that a little giggle gasp beforehand increases my pleasure tremendously. Yeah. Stay right there, Seymour. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Trigger and Audrey won't have to put up with that pig for another day. Now for the girl, now for the plant, now yes I will. <laughs> but I
the dumps ever since his mysterious disappearance. <laughs> you miss him, don't you? Miss him? I never felt so relieved as when they told me he vanished. It was like a miracle. Not to mention all the money I saved on Epsom salts and ace bandages. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Don't have to 
seems the plot is thickening among my employees. <laughs> Please, Mr. Daddy. <laughs> Seymour and me for a little while. Perhaps you could go visit that dentist friend of yours. Well, this is not very fun, Pop. You know he disappeared. Oh, that's right. He did, didn't he? <laughs> Forgive me, boy chick. Seymour? What's he talking about? What's he doing? Oh, you just run along now. I'll do like he asked. I'll catch up with you later, if that's okay. I'll, I'll call for you.
titty. Watch your language. <laughs> Rob! Give me a break. I gotta finish my speech for the lecture tour. It's all about you. Now give me some peace and quiet or I'll tell them the truth. <clears throat> Don't get cute with me. I made you and I can break you. Well, go ahead. Break me. You think it's easy living with the guilt? Oh, I'll cut the crap and bring on the meat. <laughs> if only you eat meat. If only you touch a, a mouse or flies, but no, you're so particular. Oh, come on, Crow no more. <laughs> Feed me. I ain't ate since Mushnick, and that was a week ago. Look, just hold on one more night, can you? That's all I ask. My magazine will be here in the morning to take a picture. And then you'll find me somebody. And then you'll never be hungry again. I promise. Chow time, Crowmore! Food! 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 Feed <laughs> me! Food! Stop squalling! Just shut up, will you? For God's sake, shut up! Shut up! Sam! What's the matter with you? It's the matter with me. Don't you think I know it needs food? Don't you think I know it'll die if I don't feed it and soon? Don't you think I'm trying to think of uh, something, somehow, someone? <laughs> What's the big deal about a little plant food? You know, I think running this place all by yourself is too much for you. What did Mr. Bushnick say he'd be back? Huh? You know, in that note you told me he left you. The one that said he was going to his sister's house. Oh, to... uh, Czechoslovakia. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he could be gone a very long time. Audrey, can I ask you something? Anything. I was supposed for a minute there never even been an Audrey too. And then I was just a nothing again. Uh, nobody. Would you still like me? I still love you, Seymour. And then it's settled. What settled? A gun? And, and, and bullets? And, and rabbit poison? And... And a chainsaw. Tomorrow morning, after life bags and takes our picture, you know who bites the dust. Simple. Right, we'll snap the photo, we'll be famous, we'll take that TV job, and we'll live a nice, quiet, normal life together. Then no more night feedings, no more squalling for blood. What feedings? What blood? Bullets? Nuts? Rat poison? Simon, you're scared of me. There's nothing to be scared of. We'll go away from here. I'll take you to that nice development that you always dreamed about. And once we're there, we'll have a nice, happy, quiet life. Nice little house. Nice little car. No plants. No plants at all. <laughs> You're talking so peculiar. I'll explain everything to you tomorrow. Now please just go home, Audrey. I can't leave you in this condition. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about anything. Under no circumstances. Feed me! I will not, so stop asking! Feed me! I can't take this much more. Look, how about I run down to the corner and pick you up a pound of rare roast beef? Maybe that'll hold you in the, until the morning when Life Magazine gets here. No, uh, no way. Look, it's my last offer. Take it or leave it. It's better than nothing. Done. Fine. Great. Don't think you're getting dessert. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I took a seven looks. Voices in my head kept saying, Go to see more. Talk to see more. I drank some tea.
water in the worst way. Look at my branches. I'm a goner, honey. Come on and give me a drink. I don't know if I should. Hey, little lady, nice. You just want water, right? Sure do, I'll drink it straight. All your branches are fine. You need a glass of ice. I'll give it to you. The wisdom of life. Before long, 
Every household in America's got their own Audrey too. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we got the truck outside, the pot's ready, we just need to take some clippings. Audrey, twos, everyone. <laughs> Heck, with the right marketing, this could be bigger than hula hoops. <laughs> <laughs> bigger than hula hoops? Much bigger! <laughs> Put them in there, and we'll be ready to go. 